Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play various games on a Mac that aren't normally on a Mac. So, what we'll be using is a program that is basically an Android emulator. That's a free program you can download online. Um, it makes your uh, Mac basically into an Android device. That might sound weird and very unfortunate, but you'll see once we go it's not... Um, that obtrusive it's just a program that you can close very easily and just like you open and close browsers so nothing major but let's search for blue stacks and here's a website um you can read all about it let's go over to download blue stacks and it says download started and it will initiate the download process here's the menu you just say okay but i'm going to say cancel because i already have it so what it will look like is this 64-bit um, green square on top of a yellow, red, and blue square. So open it up once you've gotten it installed and in the Applications folder. And it comes up with a screen advertising other games normally. Just a warning, this doesn't allow you to play any game or any Android game. I've tried some games and they don't seem to work. Um, claiming internet and other bugs so it's kind of tricky to format every app to be able to work on a computer but as you can see here's the home screen you'll have to sign in to with your Google account but if you don't have one you just need to make one then do it here you'll see the App Center I wouldn't recommend going there cuz it's not as good as the Google Play Store so if you want to get an app just go to the Google Play Store and search for whatever you want. For instance, let's say PES 2021. And here you can see all about the app that you'd be getting normally on an Android. So all you do is push install and you may have to put in a password the first time. But I'm not going to download this app. I'm going to show you one that I already have. And I downloaded FIFA Mobile and there's an internet issue, so I'll have to try it again when I have super good internet. But just a warning, this does not allow you to play any game in every game. Um, there may be a bug or with the formatting or an internet issue like I had. In Slither.io, I also had an issue with um, a bug. So I tried another game, and it works. Zigzag, and you can customize the controls. This comes up every time. This one's really simple, just need a space bar. So, some games are going to be easier to show up, probably because they ha take less resources, they're more simple. So, before you download anything like PES or Asphalt or FIFA, you need to make sure your Mac is capable of it. Even this program it has um, a little issues with. So, you need a new Mac for this to run nicely, which I don't have. And this is an ad and some other junk. So beware of that. Apps will still have ads like you would on an Android. Google Play wants me to enter my account. Here's an ad. Just X out of it. And here finally is the game. Let's try it. So it's just a space bar. So you can see it's a little laggy, um, but it's still playable. It's definitely not the same as a phone, but it's still cool you can do this. And on newer Macs, it would run even better, so. And yeah, like I said, it will run way better on newer Macs. Um, this is a 2013 Mac, so that's why. And yeah, beware, there are ads that wreck havoc sometimes. So the point is you'll want a, a new Mac or a Mac with sufficient power for this to run nicely. But even if you don't, you can still play games, some games to some degree. Obviously, this is not my game. That was better, but anyway, you get the point. 
And here's the button that you can get rid of programs. It's kind of confusing. There's tabs plus this multitask menu. And you gotta go to the multitask menu to fully get rid of the apps. You might be able to hear it, but this has got my computer's fans running fairly loud. So you'll want to have a newer, uh, more powerful Mac than what I have. I have a 2013 MacBook Air, so this works best with newer devices. And it'll work with some older devices if it has good power. So I'd recommend 8 gig of RAM or higher. Definitely an i-series chip or higher. Preferably i7 but i5s could work and the newer i5s could work but anyway um you can also do things besides games like go to chrome which obviously is pointless but that's just shows you can do other things like that um it comes with some apps built in like calculator camera etc let's try the calculator just out of curiosity so again like i said this can do other apps but Anyway guys, this is how you download and play games on a Mac. Um, this does not work for every game, so don't be complaining that it didn't work. Um, there may be internet issues, there may be performance issues, and there may be bugs in the formatting of the app. Because every app can't be formatted to work. So, if you like this video guys, please leave a like. Um, comment down below what game you tried or app you tried. And please subscribe if you thought this was helpful, interesting, etc. So, anyway guys, goodbye.